I got a fever. And the only prescription is more tick, 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 tick. Hey guys, Sports Gaming Fever here back again this time around. I have something different. Uh, this video is called NHL, a message to the bigger guys. So I'm just going to talk about a little bit about the uh, bigger guys in the community and uh, some recent events that occurred on Twitter. Before we get started, let me just recognize that I know I am a smaller channel. You see here I have 569 subscribers, most of which are kind of dead to be honest. So, you know, it's just, uh, I know I'm a smaller guy, so, uh, but this is kind of the point of view of the smaller guy in the community, kind of looking up to some of these bigger guys in the community and, uh, what they can do. Now, when I say bigger guys, I mean guys like the Nasher 61, uh, who has like 10,000 subscribers. Don't be sad, who has probably like 2.5 thousand subscribers. It's Kane88, around 2,000, I'm pretty sure. Um, Halo Diego, he has about 10,000 subscribers. Dicosaurus Rex, he has around 1.5, 2,000, I'm pretty sure. And last but not least, it's Mold Gold. Now, I know there are other guys in the community, but these are guys that I mainly talk to on Twitter and watch videos from. But before I talk any longer, here's a clip of my first ever video on YouTube. Hey guys, what's up? My name's uh, Sports Gaming Fever, um, and I'm going to be making some videos, um, mostly sports games. Um, I have a PS Yeah, I was a really awkward kid. Um, anyway, yeah, I just grabbed my camcorder after like, watching a bunch of videos on YouTube and uh, decided, you know, this is what I want to do. I'm going to try this out. And even though it's just a camcorder, it's not like a freaking Elgato or something like that. It's how I started. So recently I did get an Elgato. So my videos typically look like my latest one like this. Hey guys, Sports Gaming Fever here back again this time around playing some NHL 14. Pack hat. So as you can see, I think I have pretty much like grown as a channel over the almost two years I've been doing this. It'll be two years in February. So... Basically, what YouTube has done for me is provide an escape, and that's why I loved making videos so much. Um, it's just that escape. We all have shit that goes on in our lives, uh, in our personal lives, uh, because I think it's safe to say for most of us, this is kind of like a hobby. It's something really fun to do, so um, it kind of provides an escape. It's like an alternate universe. Um, so it's been a good experience so far, and I'm not going to be able to do it for too much longer. I think when I hit college or something like that, it's really going to die down. So while I'm able to do this, it, it, uh, it's really a separate thing. Like, not a lot of people in my life know I do this. My parents do. That's about it. Um, not a lot of people, though, I have this channel or make these videos in my real life. People, real life friends, and whatnot. So it's really an alternate universe. If something is going wrong there, I can just do this and focus on video games and making videos, and it's awesome. So... I look up to a lot of you guys, you bigger guys who have all those subscribers. And the reason I don't is probably because I, I don't always stick with YouTube. I take month breaks. Like, usually I go hard for a month, and then I don't really do it for a while. Um, maybe, like, a couple weeks, and then it's like, oh, now I want to do a video. It doesn't get the same, like, people watching it and stuff. And uh, But I have gotten, in the past couple months, I've gained, like, 300 subscribers, which has been amazing. And then I took a break. And people didn't really come back when I started making more videos. So, yeah. But when I see bigger guys like you guys uh, kind of, you know, arguing and fighting about little things like what happened last night. I'm not going to get into the specifics because I don't know all of the specifics. But uh, it's just kind of shitty. I think uh, that you guys are in a position that you can make people in the community but also just viewers, like fans of you guys, very proud. Like, I've gotten tweets from you guys, people jumped into some of my streams and stuff, and like that's like a good feeling to me. Um, you know, that's a really good feeling. Um, I remember even early in the uh, in my career, I should, I guess I could say, of uh, making videos, It's Mogul was probably one of the first guys who helped me out. Like, he didn't really like my content. I mean, I don't really know who really did like my content early on. I mean, it was pretty crappy, but he would make the effort, I'd say, hey, dude, can you check out my video? It would mean a lot. And he would. And he would uh, comment on it and like it. And then on my live streams, I'd say, hey, I'm having a live stream. Do you mind stopping by? He would stop by for like 10 or 20 minutes. And it's just a good feeling. I mean, he didn't need to do that, but he did, which is an amazing feeling. And it just shows like the amazing feeling that you probably give other people when you retweet them or when you 
give them a shout out or something. You guys are in a position to do that, and I think we should use that to our advantage. It's a great opportunity. I'm, I'd be happy if I could do that. When I live stream, I get probably 10 to 15 viewers, so I don't really, I'm not in a position to make a lot of people feel proud of themselves. I'm not very popular, but when you guys are, I think we should, you should use that and make everyone around you kind of feel good because you're in a position to do that. Not a lot of people have that sort of position at all. So, um, yeah, I'd say use that to your advantage. And this community, Dikasaurus was talking about it on Twitter. This community is rather small, um, and we are rather young. I think we should use that to our advantage. I mean, uh, we're a smaller community. We should use each other to build up the community. Um, it's not like Madden. It's not like any other game. So I think we, we have two options. We can use each other to build each other up and make this community a lot more fun and, uh, and you know, more popular. Um, or we could just, you know, option two is go to NBA Live, um, which sounds so fun. Not really at all. Um, so, yeah, I, I just think, you know, we should help each other out and really just make people happy. I think that's what we're – not me really, but you guys at least are able to make a lot of people happy with your videos. So I think you guys should, you know, focus on that. Um, and as people I look up to, it was kind of crappy what went on. And – I guess that happens from time to time, but, you know, yeah. I guess that's just my perspective as a little guy uh, looking up to you bigger guys in the community and seeing, trying to see if you guys can make a big difference, which you guys already have, and I hope you guys can continue to do that and kind of forget about what happened. Anyway, guys, thank you very much.